Now another thing that the Linux desktop needs to do for you is it needs to be a good citizen within your network. It needs to interoperate with the other components around. In order to show some of this, we're going to take a look at some of the file system browser features which can show this off best. And to start with, before we go into the network interoperability, let's get a little look at how usable the file system browsers are within the Linux desktop. We'll start with a folder open uh, that contains several of the things that I commonly use in my day-to-day -day work. But a problem that I have on my desktop here is all of these different folders have the same icon on them. How can I tell one from the other? By right-clicking a folder and choosing properties, I can easily add to it an emblem such as this heart right here to show that it's one of my favorites. With the folder marked like that, it's going to be more easy for me to find it, but what if I want to work with it even more easily than that? I can actually add that folder by opening it and then adding it to my bookmarks, and now it is one of the elements on my places search, so it's quick and easy for me to access that folder anytime I need to. If that same folder contains information that I want to share with other users on the network, of course I can right click that and choose from the list sharing options. By choosing sharing options, my folder sharing dialog comes up and I can now share this on the network so that it becomes accessible not just to other Linux desktop systems, but also to Windows and Macintosh clients. This of course is a feature that you can turn off if this is something you don't want to enable for your users. By clicking on network servers, we browse the network to find any available networks that are out there and we come up with a Windows network that is available to me. And then by opening that, of course, I can see various servers that might be online and available to me. Of course, accessing Windows shares on the network is going to require authentication, which is usually controlled by Microsoft Active Directory. That's why Novell has integrated into the Linux desktop the capability to authenticate to Active Directory, whether you're based on Kerberos or Lightweight Directory Access Protocol, or LDAP. 